I'm here with Paul Wedgwood, CEO of Splash Damage and Game Director of Brink. How are you, sir? Really good. We're at basically James Bond's villain base, 8,300 you know, feet up in the <laughs> air. And every time I look out the window, I think I'm going to see the silhouettes of four skiers in black coming down the mountain <laughs> with machine guns over their shoulders. Are you worried by how very mixed in terms of sales and reception you'll get with Brank considering the new IP status that they come from? Well, I don't know. I mean, everything that we're playing right now that people really enjoy playing, Mass Effect, Assassin's Creed, Left 4 Dead, these were all new IPs, you know, less than three years ago. So it really isn't something that bothers me greatly at all. And in that same period that you're talking about, we've also had Bulletstorm come out. Yes. Yeah. So I don't, think, I don't think it's really an issue for us. We've got a great publisher that knows how to handle new intellectual property, that is prepared to throw really cool events like this, where everyone can just chill out and have a good time and play the game. And there's none of that kind of corporate stuff that you expect to see. Yeah. You know, there's very little, if any, PR talk at any Bethesda event that I've ever been to. It's just, here's these really cool, good quality game experiences. Come and play them and just tell us what you think. When we first started telling people that we were blurring the lines between single player gaming and co-op gaming and versus mode gaming, people immediately imagined what they perceived to be a traditional single player linear first person shooter, you know, you're basically a refrigerator on a mine car going through a rail route as duck boards flip up in front of you and you <laughs> shoot them down and it's repeatable in exactly the same way every time you play. And then they think that what we're doing is we're making multiplayer offline with bots mm. and that somehow that isn't the right way that you would play. Mm. But, you know, if we go back to my example of those four guys that I'm sure are coming down the hill right now at us from the top <laughs> of the mountain, they wouldn't politely go via reception and come up the stairs 
and all come through the front door because that's the direction I'm looking in at the moment. They will come through the window, through the door, through next door's balcony, they'd outflank us, that's the kind of stuff they do. So one of the big goals with Brink, in addition to the story, was to create autonomous AI that does think for itself, that makes decisions based on the same mission system that you use, whose shopping list for abilities and items and tools and gadgets is the same shopping list that you have. So when you get access to big body types, they start turning up with big body types with huge mini guns and everything else. They literally level with you alongside. Mm. So the story side of it is actually quite an interesting one because while it's very difficult for a traditional developer of single player linear shooters to mm. add multiplayer to their game, for us, it's actually incredibly easy to add story to good multiplayer. Okay. Uh you ready for this, brothers? An hour ago, I was making my kids breakfast. Then I get the call and get given this gun. And now... Was the movement just about spray painting slogans for you? No, it's just kind of sudden. <laughs> you think this day hasn't been coming for years? Chance tried everything to avoid this. There's no options left. Look, any moment now, Marco and his thugs will pour in here. They won't be asking questions. Are you ready to use these, brothers? I am ready. Then let's do this. strangers coordinating with each other to complete a series of incredibly complex tactical goals that would have taken us as a clan three days of planning to try and figure out okay you're gonna go do this and I'm gonna do that and if that doesn't work our fallbacks gonna be blah 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 and then I'm gonna run up over the top I'm gonna stab this dude in the back and I'm gonna disguise as him and get behind enemy lines and use the command post because you're gonna plant the bomb in the gate but if your bomb doesn't go on the gate and that doesn't work out then I'm gonna take a secondary objective and I'm gonna go around the outside and just hack that door open and that's gonna go down and we'll go in the side route and we'll pincer them and outflank that machine gun post so we can get the bomb in the gate to get it through imagine planning out with your clan mates all of those kind of uh, uh, things for 20 minutes of play. You just couldn't do it at all. And yet here we are with 16 strangers with VOIP turned off, relying only on our automated communication system in the game. And we had them cheering at the end of matches. And they're not cheering because they think our game is brilliant. They're cheering the experience of, of collaboration with each other. And I think that's brilliant. Yeah, definitely. The captain, weapons hot, shoot to kill. Freaking guess. Oh, come on, man. It's not every single guest, it's Chen. He ain't leading them nowhere, they don't want to already go. First demonstrations, then riots, now kidnapping. What next? I'm just saying that. Where's this place we're going to again? Fish Farm Visitor Center. We have visitors. And fish. <laughs> Let's get this over with. Safety's off. It's showtime.
got it done. Excellent work, man. We freed the hostage and secured the time. Now we have terrorism in the country. We may be able to give this executive in the bad days.